This is part two of CAR's housing market forecast where we are talking about the housing trends, supply and affordability in California. Single family home sales peaked in 2005, dropped to a low in 2007, almost as low as 1981 when interest rates were at 16%. Home sales rose again in 2009 up to over 450,000 and dropped back down to 380 to $400,000 range and have remained steady at that level. Sales began strong in 2017, but the growth is slow. In August, we only had a 3% year-to-year change, but the third quarter of 2016 was extremely slow, primarily due to the pending elections. Even as home sales have slowed, home prices have continued to rise, with the median home price in August up to $565,000, a 7.2% year-to-year increase, and almost 3% increase from July. It is on fire. The peak in California was May of 2007 at 594, and the statewide median home price is still 4.9% under the peak. In Sacramento, we peaked in August of 2005 at about $394,000, and today's $348,000 median home price is still, guess what, 11.8% under that. Now let's look at supply. Statewide inventory remains on a downward trend Active listings declined for 26 straight months. That's a two-year decrease. The inventory level has fallen to just 2.9 months from 3.4 months a year ago, declining most in the lower price levels. In order to put this in perspective, the range since 1988 shows a low of 1.3 months in April of 2004, a high of 18.8 months in April of 1991, and a long-run average of 6.9 months. Affordability is the big concern in most areas within the state of California. Statewide, only 29% of households can afford to purchase a home. The peak was in Q1 of 2012 at about 70%. Locally, Sacramento's affordability rating is 45%. Placer County is 43% and El Dorado is 40%. The owner-occupied housing stock has steadily declined since 2005, while renter-occupied has been on a steady uphill since 2003 and not showing any let up at all, even with rents climbing higher and higher. That's a lot of statistics, but those are the main takeaways from the report. Now, next week, join me for a look at the effect of all this information on the 2018 housing market forecast. It's gonna be great. That's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again. Have a great day.